In this video we're going to multiply add and subtract integers and we'll do these type of problems. So here's example three, just do this one together. Then examples four, I'll do this one and you'll press pause, try this one. Then examples five, I'll do this one and you can press pause and try this one. So let's start in example three. Um, we've got a negative three times a negative three plus a four times a negative seven. Please write that down. Okay, and how would we go about solving that? So if you think of if you think of PEMDAS order of operations, what should we do first? Should we uh, multiply first, right? So negative three times negative three is positive nine, and then we've got another multiplication here. What's positive four times negative seven? Negative, right, 28. Okay, so this became nine, this became negative 28, and we've got to add those, so it's a nine plus a negative 28, or nine minus 28, same thing, right? So nine positives and 28 negatives gives us How many negatives? Nineteen negatives, right? Okay, so examples four. I'll do this one and then you can try this one. So well we'll do this one together. So write it write this out. Three times five minus four times negative one minus seven times negative three. Write it out and we'll do it together. So, what do we do first? Well, again, following PEMDAS, we've got to do the multiplications, right? And then we can subtract, right? Or add, whatever the case may be. So, doing the multiplications first, 3 times 5, that's a positive times a positive, what does that give us? 15, right? Now, when we get to negative 4 times negative 1, um, you got to remember like a negative and a subtract are the same thing. So this sign, you can think of that as subtract 4 times negative 1 um, or just negative 4 times negative 1. I think the easiest thing is to just think of that. In fact, you know, the easiest thing is to use our old trick of a subtraction can be written plus negative, okay? So I would always do that just because it's easy. Because like, when you did, watch this, if you do this, plus negative, see? Now it says plus negative 4 times negative 1. And that just kind of, I don't know, that just kind of makes it a little easier, doesn't it? Because you've got a negative 4 times a negative 1, what's that? Positive, right? So we have a plus positive 4. There we go, right? Same with this one. How would we change this to plus negative and, and make it nice and easy? You see that the plus negative trick is really useful once we get into these longer problems. Because that subtract sign, you know, for some reason students don't seem to like it. I mean, to be honest, you can just look at that as negative 7 times negative 3 and just write down plus, plus 21 and you're done. But it might also help to do this, plus negative. Now it says plus negative 7 times negative 3. See, plus negative 7 times negative 3, right? So we have, therefore, plus, that's that sign, the plus, see, plus comes out, and then what's negative 7 times negative 3? Positive 21, right? You can put in plus 21, but I mean, you just have to write down 21. You can do a whole bunch of plus signs in a row, it's, it's still going to be the same. But anyway, so what's the answer? 15 plus 4 plus uh, 21. So 4 and 21 is 25. And 15, 40, right? So press pause, write this one down, try it yourself. Negative 2 times 4, minus 5 times negative 6, minus 1 times negative 1. 
Press pause, write it down, try it yourself. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it, and you know, if you make a mistake, that's fine, because that's what the video is all about, trying to uh, give, give good explanations and give you guys a chance to make mistakes and all that type of thing. So, hopefully the negative 2 times 4 went okay, and hopefully you got negative 8. At this point, again, the, tri the nice trick is, you see that subtract sign, change that to plus negative. Now it says plus, see plus, negative 5 times negative 6, which is, that's a negative times negative, right? Negative 5 times negative 6, positive 30, right? And then coming over here, I mean, you can just say, look, that's negative 1 times negative 1. That's just a positive 1. I mean, a subtract sign and a negative sign are the same thing. There's no difference. So, um, you know, that's just plus 1. You can just write down plus 1. Or you might like to do this, plus negative. Now it says plus negative 1 times negative 1, right? Plus, see that? Plus negative 1 times negative 1, so plus positive 1. And then just add those guys together and you're done. So I'm going to add these two guys together first. Negative 8, positive 30. 8 bad guys, 30 good guys. 22 um, good guys and then plus 1, 23, right? Okay, on to the fifth examples. Examples 5. So, please write this down. It's negative 2 times negative 4 in parentheses all squared, minus 5 times negative 1 in parentheses squared. Okay. So I'll do this one, and then I'm going to have you press pause and try this one yourself. Okay. Or we'll do this one. Sorry. We'll do this one together. Okay. So, so when we think about PEMDAS, right, what does the E letters stand for in PEMDAS, the word of operations. That's your exponents, isn't it? Now we do have parentheses. Here's a parenthesis. See that? But inside that parenthesis, there's just the number negative 4. I mean, so what can you do inside the parentheses? Nothing, right? Similarly with um, this parenthesis here. Yeah, we have parentheses, but inside the parentheses, there's, there's already an answer. It's negative one, so there's nothing to be done inside parentheses. So parentheses, you know, are done basically. And the next thing we need to do with the order of operations is exponents, right? Exponents. So we have exponents. We have a negative four all squared. Notice that the exponent of two is just working on the negative 4, not on this negative 2 over here. And this exponent of 2 is just working on the negative 1, not on the negative 5. Okay. So if that is just working on the negative 4, what's that going to do, do to it? What's that going to make? What's negative 4 all squared? The whole thing all squared. And a, an exponent on parentheses does this. It, it, go, it makes it parentheses times parentheses. And whatever's inside the parentheses gets multiplied by itself. Right? So it's negative 4 times negative 4. Parentheses times parentheses. And that gives positive 16. Not 8. 16. Okay? <laughs> now, so that's done. We also have another exponent to do. The other exponent to do is the negative 1 all squared. Can you do that one? Negative, what's negative 1 all squared? Well, the squared is touching a parenthesis, so that makes it parenthesis times parenthesis. Right? And in the parenthesis we have negative 1, so negative 1 times negative 1. And what does that make? You know, sometimes just writing that out. See, like, uh, you know, I, I can write, I'm the teacher and I write out, so you can do that too. Just write it out. And then all of a sudden you'll go, oh, negative times negative, positive, positive 1. There you go. The problem with math is if you make one mistake, then the whole thing's wrong. And writing things out helps you to be correct and to avoid mistakes. So then we just write the whole thing out again. We have the negative 2, which we haven't done anything with, and we have the subtract 5, which we haven't done anything with. So just you just apply the exponents, you write everything out again, you keep going. That's it. 
Okay. So can you continue from here? Negative 2 times 16, negative times positive is negative 32. What's negative 5 times positive 1? Again, you can just think of that as it's just negative 5 times positive 1, which gives, right? Or you can change the subtract sign to plus negative. Now it says plus negative 5 times positive 1. Same thing. You know, still, you know, plus, plus, I could even put down a plus sign, plus negative 5 times positive 1 is negative 5, right? So basically we have negative 32 plus negative 5. 32 negatives plus 5 negatives is how many negatives? 32 bad guys and 5 bad guys, how many bad guys? Negative 37. Now, write this one down, press pause, do it yourself. 3 times negative 3 all squared minus 8 times negative 2 all squared. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to try it now. And if you've made a mistake, no big deal. That's what the video is all about. It's all about trying your best, having fun, making a mistake, no big deal. And hopefully I can explain why. And if not, well, give me a call and we'll try and help you. So, we've got negative 3 all squared. And the squared is touching the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses. Right? Or negative 3 times negative 3. Right? So that, that negative 3 all squared gives us a positive 9. Okay? Coming over here to the negative 2. Because we've got to do exponents first. If you follow PEMDAS, we've got to do parentheses, then exponents. So the exponents are next in our problem here, right? So it's negative 2 all squared. The squared is touching the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses. Inside the parentheses, there's a negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2. Right, so just take your time right out. Negative 2 times negative 2 is what? Positive. Four. So we've taken care of the exponents and now we're just going to write out the whole problem all over again. Now there was a three that we didn't take care of, okay, and he was being multiplied by this thing, right? Then we have a minus eight and he was being multiplied by this thing. So we've now written out the problem all over again and then we keep going step by step, line by line, uh, correct, 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 and then, then the final answer will also be correct. So I'll go ahead and do this one, if you haven't got it yet. 3 times 9 is 27. And negative 8 times 4 is what? You can just write down what that is. It's negative, right? Or you could do this. Subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite, adding the negative plus negative 8 times 4. So you can think of it as plus and then negative 8 times 4 is a negative what? A negative 32. So you've got 27 positives, 32 negatives. Um, that's 27 good guys, 32 bad guys and that gives us how many bad guys? There's more bad guys, right? 27 good guys, 32 bad guys, that's how many bad guys? Negative 5. 5 bad guys, right? <laughs>